Okay, before we start with problem 13.4, now I leave it to you, uh, problem 13.1, 13.2, and 13.3, since it's uh, about preparation of solution. So I'll, I'll just leave it to you. Now, problem 13.4, this is about uh, titration problem. So we are given here a 50 ml portion of hydrochloric acid solution that is required uh, 29.71 ml of 0.01963 molar of barium hydroxide to reach an end point. So in order for the reaction to be completed, if you have 50 ml of hydrochloric acid, it needs 27.71 ml of barium hydroxide with a concentration of 0.01963. And the uh, indicator that is being used is bromocrisol green. Now you're going to calculate the molar concentration of the hydrochloric acid. Now, the 50 ml hydrochloric acid, that is the titran, I mean the analyte or the titran, that is 50 ml, which is the concentration is unknown. While the barium hydroxide, that is the titran, okay, the one that is placed in the, in the burette, and the concentration of the titran is always known, and that is 0 0.01963 molar. And it needs 29.71 ml of it to neutralize 50 ml of hydrochloric acid. So, the 50 ml hydrochloric acid is placed in the flask together with the indicator which is bromocrisol green. Now we are tasked to determine the concentration of the analyte or the hydran. Okay. Now since the unknown is concentration, so this will be our working equation. The concentration will be in polarity. M, and we know that molarity is defined as the ratio of moles of the solute, which is in this case, it is hydrochloric acid over the volume of the hydrochloric acid solution. Now, since the volume of hydrochloric acid solution is given, that is 50 ml, or that is equivalent to 0 0.05 liters. So, our objective now is we must be able to determine how many moles of hydrochloric acid reacted with the barium hydroxide. Okay? This is a neutralization reaction. So from the, given, from the given volume and concentration of the titran, so we will be able to determine the moles of barium hydroxide. So the concentration is given as 0.09. 1.01963 moles per liter times the volume in liters. So the I mean the the number of moles of barium hydroxide is 5.8321 times 10 to the negative moles of barium hydroxide. Next is we must compute or we must be able to identify the amount of HCl that will react with 5.8 3, 2, 1 times 10 to the negative 4 moles of barium hydroxide. So, in that case, we need the stoichiometric relationship between barium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid. So, we have to write the reaction, the neutralization reaction. So, this is now the reaction, reaction between barium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid to produce barium chloride and water. Then you balance the equation. So through balancing, we would be able to know that relationship between barium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid is 1 is to 2. So 1 mole of barium hydroxide needs 2 moles of hydrochloric acid. So if we have only 5.83 times 10 to the negative moles of barium hydroxide, how many moles of hydrochloric acid is needed? So from there, we are going to solve for the number of moles of hydrochloric acid that needs to react with 5.83. So you have 5.8321 times 10 to the negative 4. 
this is moles of barium hydroxide. So from the stoichiometric relationship, determine the number of moles of hydrochloric acid. So that is 1 is to 2. So you will have here 2 moles of hydrochloric acid is equivalent to 1 mole of barium hydroxide. Okay, so the, the titration problem here is actually the titration process itself and the computation you, you would be able to identify that it is morally stoichiometric. Uh, relationship or that is stoichiometry. So from here, you'd be able to solve for the number of moles of hydrochloric acid and that is 5.8321 exponent negative 4 times 2 and that is 1.1 1 1.16644 1 times 10 to the negative 3 moles of hydrochloric acid. So, we have now the number of moles of hydrochloric acid. We have the volume of the hydrochloric acid, which is 50 ml. Then you would be able to solve for the molarity of hydrochloric acid, which is moles per liter. So, this is the number of moles. 1.16642 times 10 to the negative 3 moles Divide by the volume of hydrochloric acid, substitute it here. So you have 0 0.05 liters. So divide by 0 0.05. So the concentration now of hydrochloric acid is 0 0.02333. 0 0 0.02333 molar of hydrochloric acid. So this is the concentration of our analyte which is uh, hydrochloric acid so always take note that usually in titration process the the concentration of the titrant is always known and usually the unknown is the concentration of the analyte okay so that's problem 13